How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I'm going to show you how to restore your new iPad. Um, restore it to one of your older backups. And basically, if you have if you had iCloud set up on your previous iPad um, and you went to Settings, iCloud, and then you went to Storage and Backup, there's an option that says Backup Now. And if you selected that, it actually backs up your iPad to the cloud. And so uh, let's say you get a new iPad, for example, I just got a new one, I'm going to show you how to restore it to that backup and it'll put all the same apps and settings back on like the old one. So let's go ahead and get started here. This is the beginning screen when you first turn on a brand new iPad. Pick the language, at the upper right corner you're going to hit next. Then we we'll ask you to choose where you are, I'm in the US, next. Location services, I usually disable this, but either way it's fine. Next. Next, it will ask you to uh, connect to a Wi-Fi network. So, I'm going to do that real fast. Cover your eyes. So you want to know my code. I know you don't want it anyway, but just in case. Okay. And then we're going to hit join. So now it will join the network. And once it has successfully joined the network, you can go to the next page. Or if you have a 4G one, you can connect to that as well. Next, it will begin to activate your iPad, and then it will get to this screen right here, which is going to ask you, set up as new or restore from an iCloud backup. Now, if you had iTunes, it's simple. You just plug it into the computer, and then it'll pull from an iTunes backup. But if it's stored in the cloud, this is where you want to do this. You want to hit restore from iCloud backup, tap there, hit next. So now you're going to put in your iCloud email and password, and I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. So put in my email here and the password of course you don't want to look but just in case put that in there and then you're gonna go next and email updates no hit next this stuff come down to the bottom agree Agree again. Okay. And now it's going to ask you to choose the backup. And so I literally just backed this iPad up today, a couple minutes ago. So I'm going to tap on today, 11.09 p.m. And it's already selected. And it also has, these are the ones for my iPhone. And you can also look at older backups as well. But basically this is the one I want to do. And then you're going to tap restore. Okay, and so this process can take, again, anywhere from a minute to 10 minutes, 20 minutes, depending on how much stuff you have on your iPad. I only have a 16 gig iPad, so my restore should be faster than yours. So um, we're going to go ahead and let it do its thing, and then I'm going to take you to the screen that you'll see right after that's going to show you uh, what it looks like restored. So basically, with no work, You'll see that all the same apps that I had on my previous iPad or the previous settings are going to be all right back. Uh, all my notes, all my contacts, all my mail is going to be in. Just about everything is going to be exactly the way I had it before, um, you know, um, before you do the back. Okay, so the backup just finished uh, restoring. As you can see, so I want you to notice a couple of things here. So first of all, all my email is now resynced so it's updated everything this was excuse me this was the backup or this was the background that I had on my iPad and we open it up here and I had like one problem with this one Yahoo account but that was something different okay so here's the message it says restoring from backup your iPad settings have been restored your purchase apps and media will now be automatically downloaded so there it is this is how you restore from a backup and as you can see all these apps now have to re-download so that's the only thing is you kind of got to let it sit as it loads all your apps back onto the iPad but that's a small price to pay that because you don't have to now go in and do each one by hand Okay, so real simple. Uh, this just makes your life a lot easier. Um, and then sometimes you may have some stuff where you may have to plug it up to iTunes, but for the most part, everything's going to be pretty seamless. Okay, and then just to show you again, in case you um, forgot or whatever, uh, settings, um, general, or excuse me, you're going to go to iCloud, and you'll be logged in, storage, and backups, and it, 
if in the event that you wanted to stop doing the uh, re restoration, you would actually go stop restoring iPad. But normally this will say backup now, and that's where you hit the button to have it back up. Now iCloud is constantly doing backups. Now the one thing is you, we don't have a lot of control over when it backs up, but the point is it does back up all your settings um, I think maybe every couple of days or something like that. So uh, this is is the point of that. It just makes your life easier without having to plug up to iTunes and make sure everything is the way it's supposed to be. So in a nutshell, I hope this was helpful. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video. Subscribe to H2 Tech Videos and um, that's my timer going off and uh, keep watching. We love you here at H2 Tech Videos and have a good one.